Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is 7.58 in the morning, and it's time to do some shopping pays. Aww. Welcome to Albertsons. So I've got DoorDash on, and I've got Uber Eats on. And this one is actually an Uber Eats order. It's gonna pay 13.08 is what it said. Maybe it'll go up, and it's gonna be for 10 items. So let's soup this up. It's gonna be a long day. Let's make that $200 bag real quick, and uh, see how fast we can do it today. Leave at my door, Albertsons. Easy to go right there. Uber Eats. As soon as I drop that one off, got a Walgreens on DoorDash. It's gonna be for this, uh, what is it, two right, like Red Bulls or no, two Rock Stars and some orange juice. So two energy drinks, some orange juice, 625. All right, Walgreens at the door there for you. Thank you. I got a Subway order here, 715 for Uber Eats. And on top of that, I also have a Chick-fil-A loaded up, 1175 on DoorDash. So we're gonna do both of these. That subway order, the customers were sitting out front, so I just handed them their food. That was an Uber Eats, so it was like seven sixteen or something. It said it was going to pay on that one. This one's a twelve twenty five or twelve seventy five. It's two orders going to the same customer. This place has this cool little drop box right here. You open up this box, place all the food in there. Can't do it because I don't have three hands. But yeah, I'm gonna drop this off. This one should come out to I think like eleven something, and then I've got a Starbucks loaded up for like nine dollars. So we're gonna go grab that after that. That's on the Uber Eats app. All right, let's head into Starbucks and grab some of the coffee. Starbucks drop off for the Uber Eats. After this one, that puts us at $46. And it's only, what time is it here? It's only 9.15. So it only took us like an hour and 15 minutes or so to make 46 bucks. Not bad. Where's this apartment that I want to go to? All right, I'm going to go drop off this one here and we'll keep going. 7-Eleven for a 7.75 plus. These are rare. You never get nice little bangers like this. And it's for like two miles also. So let's go grab this. It's not like a shop. I just have to, you know, pick up the items that are already done and go drop this off real quick. All right, it's a quick hand to me order here for the customer. Uh, instructions handed to customer. Hey, you can ring the doorbell. Thanks. Blue, I've never seen these ones. These are cool looking doorbells. Thanks. All right, 9.45, and we got a 10.75 plus BK banger. What is with these orders this morning? This is awesome, just tying them together. Just an egg croissant meal and an orange juice for 10.75 plus. I'm just so surprised, people. I mean, thank you for the generosity very much, but that's crazy people pay that. I mean, that this meal's gotta cost 10 something. Wow. Enjoy your Burger King, thank you. What? $20.48. For that meal right there did you guys just see that that is wild what an epic epic burger king delivery at 9 45 in the morning all right let's keep going this is awesome after all the uber eats tips just came in i'm sitting at 80 dollars and two cents we got to pick up from this place called aware coffee and tea this one's nine dollars and 69 cents for an uber epic as i was picking up this uber eats order i got an albertson's drive and go for 21 dollars and like 69 cents to do two orders so and this is on the way to there so i'm gonna go drop these off and then swing over to albertson's and go do the 21 69 uh, drive and go order so epic just trailing these things together uber eats coffee and donuts going to the door like i said it was like 9.69 or something for this we won't know the final totals on uber until the end of today and then i'll show you, you know everything i made off of it got both orders loaded up into the car right here i know it looks like a mess but i'm gonna unload this half right here for this customer and i won't be able to show you how much this one pays on the receipt it says a 15 dollar tip so i think this first one's 15 the next one over there is gonna be like a six something dollar tip let's get this one unloaded real quick here Perfect. Let's get this one unloaded now. Uber Eats banger right here, $9.50 for the Golden Arches. Yes, we will, 1.3 miles, banger. A little more at McDonald's than I expected. It's pretty damn heavy also. So let's go drop this off. It's probably gonna be more than 950. All right, I'll leave this one up at the uh, the door. I've delivered here before. Remember I've delivered groceries to this house before. And now we're delivering Uber Eats. Uh, ring doorbell several times. Some of my residents, something takes for us. Okay, we'll do it. Ding dong, thank you. That McDonald's should pay nine something. It might even go up because that was a little bit more McDonald's than I thought it was, or since I what I had anticipated picking up. And I've got a fat burger order that I got as I was on the way to that customer's house. So I accepted that one, stacked myself here. So we're headed over to fat burger for ten dollars and fifty cents right now we'll go drop off that one uh, i don't think it's going to change i believe it's just going to stay the same and yeah pretty good so far we are moving and grooving here i think we're sitting at about a hundred and twenty dollars maybe a hundred and thirty dollars right now and it's uh 11 so it's, let's call it noon right now 
Um, I got out of here at what was it, nine, nine o'clock, eight o'clock or something like that. I don't quite remember, but maybe we've been out here three or four hours or so and we're, we're doing pretty well so far. Let's keep plugging it in. Let's uh, hit that $200 goal and then, uh, then we're done for the day. Fat Burger, the last great hamburger stand. I kind of agree with that, you know, they, they have some burgers that freaking slap. Not like chilies though. All right, Fat Burger at your door right there. Enjoy your burgers and fries, thank you. We got a nice offer from iTai Kitchen. I think it said 1225 plus, or maybe it was a 1275 plus, and it was only like two or three miles away. So let's see what this one turns into after I drop it off. This is a hand to me customer. So if you look in the top right of your screen, that's what I got for this drop off right here. Nice $24 banger right there. All right, that puts us at like 150 something dollars right now, and it's only 1237. So we've been out here for four and a half hours, and we've made 150. So you're like maybe 150 plus something dollars. Oops, sorry, Uber right there. 150 plus something dollars. I just declined that one. And I think I'm gonna go get something to eat. I'm gonna call it quits a little bit for the day, not the full day, right? We're still gonna go out there. We're gonna drive for dinner. We're easily gonna most likely hit that $250 goal for today. But right now, I am gonna take a little bit of a break, eat a little bit of food, and then shoot back out there for some delivering. Hope your guys' Thursday is being wildfire like mine. And oh, you can see Uber's really popping for me right now. Got that on. That was another double delivery though. It wanted 802 for two different deliveries, which I would not have taken that one. After I wrap up my lunch and get some more energy into me, and then we'll shoot back out there for, you know, the pre-dinner and the dinner rush, and we'll see how much money we can collect today. Okay, I lied. I'm not a, it looks like I'm not going on a lunch right now time is it right now it's 12 45 and as soon as i closed out that last clip i got an albertson's two items for 775 for just a few miles so let's go grab these two items real quick and make another 775 someone has a sweet tooth look at this and then i've got to get a gallon of vanilla ice cream and that's it for this order pretty easy an order with ice cream and cake is definitely going to be a hand it to me customer so let me go ahead and hand it to this customer right here and yeah that's what we got paid for dropping this one off right after that order right there i got a sushi order 1775 plus for 13 items so we're gonna go swoop up some sushi i thought i was gonna stop driving but guess what the money's calling let's go get it wow what a day so far it's a uh, 103 you can see in the afternoon right there and we're sitting at 167.11 before this 1775 plus so this one I don't think it's gonna come out to 30 bucks, but if it does, we get a $30 something on this. This will throw us over 200 bucks on this drop right here. All right, sushi is a leave at the door. It says leave on the wall across, so you can't see it from the street. I'm gonna guess that's right here. So the street can't see it. There you go, enjoy. Appreciate it, don't knock or ring because there's dogs that can hear them barking. Amazing orders today, just amazing. Five and a half hours into it, we're sitting at $188. You can see it's a 135 right now. This one's for a $9 order. This is gonna throw us up to, uh, what is that, $197 after this one. So, one more order, and we can go on break and smash it for dinner. After that drop, that puts us at $197.85, and it is uh, $149 in the afternoon. Wow, so not even two o'clock, and we pretty much, I'm gonna call it, we hit 200 bucks there. I know my last clip, I said I'm gonna do one more to go over 200 bucks, but eh, I'm not going to. Um, I am gonna go back out for dinner though, so we are going to still drive for the dinner shift tonight, shoot for possibly like 100 bucks or so. Um, you know, maybe $80 is generally what is a, is a typical dinner shift that's not on a weekend, but if this, uh, if this night continues or this day continues the way it is, and I've been getting the good large orders again, because I have been getting a few more than I have recently been getting. So there's been an increase is what I guess I'm getting at there. And if that can continue for tonight, then I believe we can definitely hit a $300 goal. If not, we'll aim for at least $250. Right now we got 200 or really 197 in the bag for right now. And um, you know, I've been grinding since about eight o'clock this morning, woke up around like, you know, seven o'clock or so. So I'm gonna go get something to eat, give myself some energy, chill out. It's 113 degrees outside right now. So I'm just gonna chill for a little bit and then we'll continue from there. 357, so let's call it 4 p.m. And it's, uh, it's time to start the shopping of the day. This one's actually a banger. It's 28 items, which is a lot of items, I agree. But I think it's maybe about 25 or 26. There's only two of them are a double. And this one's gonna pay us $30 to start off for dinner right now. So this is awesome. We're already sitting at 200 bucks. This order is gonna put us at $230. We are clicking along just great here. Let me go smash all this stuff out real quick. I was at this house just last week and 
yeah, this guy's a pretty good tipper. This is a brand new neighborhood also, so maybe he's just new to the neighborhood and he's a nice, generous person. So let's get this all unloaded real quick here. Ooh, look how bright that sun is. We gotta go to John's Papa's house right now. We gotta get some pizzas and some wings. I think that's about it. This one's gonna do a uh, 650 plus, I think is what it said, but it's only like a mile from the store, so it's not too bad at all. Blaze Pizza is our next little victim we gotta go pick up here. It's a 975 plus. So hopefully it turns into a nice little banger. I mean, even if it's just 10 bucks, that's I'm still cool with that. It's a nice, easy, quick one. The pizza is a hand to me customer here. So let me go ahead and ring their doorbell. And if you look at the top right of your screen, that's what I got for dropping off this order. Let's get this doorbell together. Oh, I hear dogs already. Ding dong. All right, 545. The next order is the crazy chicken. This one's a $6 plus, And we'll just run this one real quick. It's not even like a mile away. I do a little bit of a hand to me customer here for this El Pollo Loco and I actually got a stacked order at the same time to go to Tropical Smoothie Cafe. So we're gonna shoot over there as soon as I hand this to him. So this one is 650 plus and the other one's a 650 plus also. Tropical Smoothie is gonna be the next one. Let's swoop this one, drop it at the door real quick. Leave the Tropical Smoothie at my door. I'm gonna leave it a little bit of space here just so that they can swing their little door open. Thank you. What time is it? 6.39, Red Robin, 12.25 plus banger. Let's get it. Let's serve up this Red Robin Yum Burgers to this nice little farmhouse that's in the middle of the tux out here. Got everything in the big bag here, but it's a hand to me customer. And it looks like we're at the Mission House. Mercy House is next door. Oh, Mercy. I think it's time to call it. 7.25 right now, call it 7.30. And we're sitting at $288 right now. 233 of those dollars were made off of DoorDash today and 55 of those dollars or 54 of those dollars or so was made off of Uber Eats. So all the way, all together, $288 and like 13 cents or something like that. And it's only 7.30 right now. I did come out here at eight in the morning. So you can say I almost did about 11 hour shift. Well, not really, because I did go home for about an hour and a half to two hours or so. So I only did maybe about nine hours of dash time and that generated 288 bucks, almost $300, just a little bit shy here. But I'm getting tired and you know, I'm a little worn out. I got a big long day tomorrow for Friday. Everybody that's watching this Friday right now, you guys are gonna have a really good day today, this Friday that you're watching. It's gonna be really good out there. You guys are gonna get good orders. The orders are gonna, gonna be no waits. Traffic's gonna be easy. I don't know if that's how it's gonna be, but let's stay positive. The more you stay positive, the easier life becomes. As a lot of you guys know, in the last like five weeks or since last month, I got shadow banned from the large order program. And recently I've been busting my ass doing long ass uh, days and taking all of the orders out there. And I've slowly been climbing myself up into the ladder. And I'm gonna say in the last two days, there's definitely been a change in my account status with the quality of orders that they are sending me. So guys, stay on your game, stay high on that acceptance rate, get those orders taken, build that clientele list, bust your asses out there, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care of yourselves, peace out.